Hey, welcome back everyone, General Tourney here, coming back with a brand new COC episode. So the update is likely to be coming out, well the sneak peeks are likely to be starting either Tuesday or Wednesday according to the Supercell forums. And obviously once the actual updates are released guys, once the update is released to the game, there are going to be some massive changes which are going to come. So I've decided inside of this episode, I want to test out old troops these new troops. And what I mean by that is we are going to do some live attacks testing out what the old troops are like against the new troops. So we're going to be testing troops like the Miners, the Valkyries and the Bowlers and they are going to be going up against troops which are like the actual, uh, you know, the old school troops like the Pekkas and all of the other awesome ones, even the Golems. So stay tuned guys, we're just going to finish this live attack right here. And then of course we are going to make our way into a variety of different live attacks taking old troops and putting them up against the new troops. Now obviously the newer troops inside of the game are the most popular and the likelihood is that the new troops are going to be the victors. They are going to do a lot better than the older troops, but you never know. You never know what's going to happen. So stay tuned guys. This is definitely going to be an interesting episode to say the least. So the queen, we're just going to pop her ability. We're going to drop down the last two wizards over there. A couple of archers remaining and we're just going to clean up the rest of the percentage points on this base. So there's no point wasting those wall breakers. We are just going to keep them alive. The queen is still alive there. She's going to take out a couple more buildings. But you know what? We're going to end the raid there and we are about to prepare our old army. So we're going to start with an old army first and of course that means one troop is going to be showing her face, the Pekka. So here we go, we are going to make our way into the actual barracks, let's just collect that Dark Elixir. So as I said, the Pekka is obviously one of the oldest school troops inside of the game, so we're going to make an army. Now there are no rules to this, I haven't said there are any rules, and I did not say we can't mix the armies. So for the first time ever, I have never seen this before. Legit, I've never seen this on YouTube and I've never seen anyone use it. We're going to use a Max Miner, Max Pekka attack strategy. And I don't know what's going to happen. I have absolutely no idea. But it's definitely going to be interesting to say the least. So we're going to bring two wizards just to finish off the army. Now there is a lot of miners inside of this army. So it's going to be interesting as I said. Three heal spells, one rage spell, one free spell. And then we are going to bring ourselves a single poison. So we do have... A total of 6 wall breakers, 29 miners, and of course 3 of those peckers. A couple of spells, now we just need to gem ourselves the heroes. Now we're not going to be looking for any loot, we're not going to be looking for trophies, we just want to find a base which looks decent enough for me to, you know, hopefully get a 1 star, hopefully get a 2 star in fact, not a 1 star, and maybe pick ourselves up some loot along the way. So this is definitely going to be one which is seen as a challenge, but you know what, I'm all up for taking on the challenges, so we are about to attack this base. As as I said, it's definitely looking a little bit challenging, but it should be good. It should be great. So we're going to start this off by going King, Queen, Grand Warden. In go the Peckers, and then in go those Wall Breakers, guys. So the Wall Breakers are going to get themselves straight into the base. We're going to drop some Miners on the right, some Miners on the left-hand side. We are going to drop in the two Wizards, and that is pretty much the entire initial army. So we're going to pop the Grand Warden's ability right now, making sure that that King does not go down. We are going to be funneling some uh, some miners into the center very shortly, but there goes the uh, the king's ability. Going to drop a poison spell onto the actual uh, the defending clan castle troops, and now here we go. Let's see where these miners are going to go. We're going to have to see if we can funnel them into the center, guys. Going to see? No, nope, they haven't. They've gone for the defending clan castle. Here we go. Now they're going into the center. We're going to drop a hill spell on these miners. We're going to drop a free spell on the eagle artillery, and uh, let's see what these miners can do. So we still have plenty of hill spells left. The peckers. Seem to have all died out, but it doesn't really matter too much to be honest with you. There goes another heal spell, making sure that these beautiful miners are staying alive. It's pretty much like immortal miners in the center of the base. And you know what? It looks like we're actually going to be taking down the Inferno. Sorry, not the Inferno Tower, all of the Expos as well. So here we go. The final heal spell is going to get dropped down. Miners still managing to stay alive. We're up to 47% so far. They're going to take out the Larrys and then, of course, make their way onto the Expo. So the Expos are going to still drop pretty damn quickly. Here we go. Let's see if we can take out the final two and also grab ourselves some of that beautiful Dark Elixir inside of the storage. So we've secured ourselves a two-star. This is definitely a freaky army, and it was also a weird kind of base, one of those center bases which tries to protect the town hall. But, of course, with my clever thinking and my really good skills. Now nah, I'm only joking. But, yeah, we did manage to two-star it, so it was pretty cool. So we tried the Peckers and we tried the Miners. Why don't we try something a 
little bit different this time. So we've got a rage spell, sorry, an earthquake spell on the clan castle left. We're not going to bother using them. Let's make our way back home and we're going to pick ourselves another army. This time, we're once again going to be using the, uh, the peckers, but... For the first time, we're going to actually mix the Peckers with some of these brand new maxed out level 8 Giants. Now there's quite a lot of them coming inside of this army. We're also going to be bringing ourselves a few Harry Potters and maybe two healers. Can we bring two healers? Nope, let's just stick with Harry Potters guys. So Harry Potters, loads of little mine, uh, not mine, miners, I was going to say miners. Loads of wall breakers, and then of course we need to choose ourselves our spells. So two rage spells, one free spell, four earthquakes, and a poison. Seems pretty legit to me. It's kind of like an old school army, guys. Instead of a go wipe, it is a what is it? A gy wipe. So we've got a gy wipe going on. Gonna gem ourselves the king, the grand warden, and of course the uh, the archer queen just over here once again. Gonna cost us a dollar worth of gems, but it's worth it, guys. It is for your entertainment. So here we go. Gonna make our way into a second live attack. Testing out an old school army, so I'm not really sure what's gonna happen right now I have never used this for at least I would say a year. I haven't used Jaiwak for a year I think the last time I used it I was probably at Town Hall 9, so maybe over a year ago So check it out, we've landed straight on this Town Hall 11 base and it's actually a cool base because all of the uh, the Inferno Towers and the Eagle Artillery are actually situated straight in this part here. So we're going to drop down the Earthquake spells, do some real damage to this base, open up those Skull Walls, and now we have access into the core. So we're actually going to drop down two access points there. They decided to merge into one, which is cool. Not too much of an issue. So we're actually going to also be using the Defending Clan Castle in, sorry, the, uh, the Attacking Clan Castle. I'm not quite sure what's inside of it. There go the Peckers, and there go the... Uh, the beautiful, oh so beautiful wizards. So, let's see what we can do inside of this base. There goes the poison spell. Wow! Did you see those big bombs? And the actual Grand Warden's ability wasn't even in range. So those big bombs done a serious amount of damage to my base. So there we go. We've dropped down the rage spell. We're going to be losing so many Harry Potters here. What is going on? This really isn't looking great. We need healers here to make sure these troops can stay alive. But it's not looking the best. So we're going to have to pop the King's ability. To see if we can take down one of those Inferno Towers ASAP. The first one's gone. Got the Peckers inside of the core. So the Peckers are the strong bit of this army. The Giants didn't really do too well. But the Peckers made it all the way into the center. Still have the Queen's ability to use. So it looks like we will be securing a 2 star. So 2 stars not too bad. But of course the newer attack strategies which you are about to see. Are capable of much faster 2 stars. Higher percentage in terms of overall damage. And obviously everyone knows. The Max Miners, Max Bowlers always have the potential to 3-star any Town Hall 11 base. So we're going to end that there. A perfect 2-star, 50% guys, very close. We picked up an 80% loot bonus. So that was pretty much been the old school army. Now it's time to go new school. Now it's time to go modern day. And we're going to use one of my favorite combos. We're going to use 12 Valkyries and 16 Bowlers. Now we're going to chuck in a Golem. Go over to the uh, the spells, two rage spells, one free spell, and of course, four earthquakes to open up the core of poison. And then the final few things we're gonna bring. What should we bring? Let's go for a, uh, let's go for some wizards. So we're gonna bring three wizards and of course, three wall breakers. So that's the entire army. Once again, the king's gonna be coming, the queen, and of course, the grand warden. This is, as I said, new against old. So now it's time to see what you can do. So the turtle army is ready to rumble the spells. Nope, we haven't brought the spells. Forgot to jam them. That was very close. So there we go, guys. Spells are ready. Heroes are ready. Troops are ready. Let's make our way into another live attack. So this is this is a decent episode because we're also pushing up in trophies. The likelihood is that we are not going to be losing any cups inside of this episode. So we're pretty much back inside of the Titans 1 League. We're very close. Maybe three attacks away. So we could potentially do that within the next 10 to 15 minutes. Let's just wait and see what happens. So we'll be back in a second, guys, once we find a decent base that we can take on. You know what? We've just landed on this, and it's looking sweet. This is sweet as a nut. It's got two single-target Inferno Towers, nice access to the Eagle Artillery, and both Inferno Towers, as I said. So it should be a decent base. Let's see what we can do inside of here. The only issue is that that actual, the cannon and the funnel could be a bit of a problem. So there goes the king. Sorry, not the king, the, uh, the Grand Warden, the Queen, and of course, that Golem. So once we've got a little bit of access into the core, once the Archer Tower or something locks onto the actual, onto the king. There we go. Now we can send our troops into the center. So the Warbreakers suffered there. Wow, okay, this isn't looking great. Where are the Valkyries going to go? Valkyries are going to go over onto the right-hand side. We need to open up this base. What is going on, guys? Why can nothing ever go to plan? Come on, Valkyries. Please funnel in. Here we go. The Valkyries are finally going to funnel in. 
There go the rest of the Valkyries. We're going to be dropping down the uh, the Rage Spell and the Poison and the Free Spell directly into the center. Let's see what sort of damage we can do to this base. Obviously, the funnel was horrendous, guys. Absolutely horrendous. Hopefully, we can still get a two-star, though. So, we got some Valkyries running around in the center. We have managed to take out all the major defenses in the base, and we've still got loads of bowlers left up on the left-hand side. So, you can see, although we completely messed up this attack in so many ways, we've still grabbed ourselves an easy two-star, still got a couple of troops left, and we've actually got a higher percent than the previous attack. But as I said, the attack itself was so messed up, so brutally just, you know, completely every troop was sent in the wrong direction but we still managed to walk away from it with a 57% two star meaning we picked up another additional seven trophies not too bad not too bad at all so we're gonna get ourselves into one final attack guys and we haven't done this for a while on the channel but we're actually going to do an all valkyrie attack and this time we are using a earthquake spells now this is my favorite attack in the game for the simple fact that Valkyries, once unloaded into a base, can do severe damage. And there's not really anything anyone can do about it. There's no way you can stop them, guys. So there we go. The Valkyries are ready. There is an army of, I believe, what is it? 40 Valkyries ready to rumble. Just going to gem ourselves the heroes once again. And then we are locked and loaded. So how many Valkyries? 30 Valkyries. 30 maxed out level 5 Valkyries. This is going to be a very interesting battle. Let's see what happens. Here we go, so we've just landed on this Town Hall 11 base, but we're not going to be taking that on, we're not going to take that on, the actual core of the base is too protected, and I don't really want to go for that, I want to see what we can do to a base which is a little bit easier to take on, here we go, okay, there are 14 trophies available inside of this base, and it's going to be a very nice easy attack, so it's going to be 4, 4 earthquakes right there, and then, of course, four Earthquake spells right there. That's going to give me access into the core. We also have an additional Earthquake. May as well drop it on the Eagle Artillery, you know, just to do a little bit of damage. So we're going to start this off going King, Queen, Grad Warden. A couple of Valkyries over on the right. A couple of Valkyries on the left. And then the rest of them, of course, are going to be funneled into the center of the base. Let's see what happens here, guys. Going to be interesting. Rage Spell is going to go down really early. There goes the Poison. Grand Warden's ability and King's ability used at the exact same time. Let's see where the Valkyries are going to go. So we got the Queen, which hasn't really done much. Valkyries now pulling into the center finally. There goes the first Inferno Tower. Obviously, we do not have a second Rage Spell, and I'm not going to lie to you guys, the Earthquake Spells were kind of used in the wrong way, but it doesn't matter. It's all about fun. There goes the second Inferno Tower. The Eagle Artillery is about to get taken down pretty damn quickly. I would love to have another Rage Spell at this moment in time, but obviously we don't, guys. But there goes the center of the base, and all Valkyrie Army proving to be one of the funnest to use inside of the game so a 52 percent two star and i think it's pretty safe to say that some of the troops inside of coc do need balanced into the game a little bit better guys but i'm sure we are going to be seeing that inside of the next update so stay tuned to the channel there will be two normal episodes coming tomorrow and then of course from tuesday or wednesday the sneak peeks will start to arrive and we will hopefully be receiving some new content in the game and of course onto the channel so i will see you shortly have a great day guys peace out Thank you.